studio is a painter's dream. Canvases wait, brushes at the ready. Enter the artist, Billy McGargle. His process is set, music first. Then choices for color and texture. Then he paints. Painting almost every other day, to him, is just like breathing. It's just part of what he does. He sees himself now as an artist. Billy has autism and is nonverbal. His mother Eve says this practice of visual expression began some 10 years ago when he was ill. The only thing that he had the energy to do was to go downstairs and put some paint on a canvas. And I felt that he was trying to express that he had a spirit that was ongoing even though he was so sick. And so I just picked up on his cues. She created this system to allow Billy to be as independent as possible. The results are stunning. And yes, for sale. So we work as the art broker, curate the top artwork, and then sell it. Boston company Artlifting represents 115 artists in 19 states, some with disabilities, some struggling with homelessness. For years, founder Liz Powers worked with people striving to overcome such challenges. And I heard repeatedly, Liz, I want an opportunity, not a handout. Online sales, licensing deals, and corporate sales are now transforming lives. Several have actually gained housing, uh, certainly not just due to the money that they've earned, um, but a big part is the confidence boost. For Billy, the joy is in the creation. He uh, is healthier now. His movements are stronger, bigger, wider, broader, more dynamic. He does speak through each composition. The nose pop and the coppers. Sharing a message that demands attention. I think it's time for us to change how we look at individuals with autism who are nonverbal or low verbal and think of them as communicators. He has many gifts and plenty to say. <laughs> he sure does. Artlifting started three years ago. They've closed over 70 corporate deals for their artists with companies like Google, Microsoft, and Staples. They are a for-profit company. Powers explaining instead of focusing on things like grant writing, they can focus on marketing their artists. We're